An expression for the nth term of the sequence of triangular numbers is n times n plus 1 out of 2. Prove that the sum of any two consecutive triangular numbers is a square number. So um, for this question, the first thing we want to do is, you know, we've been given this the nth term of a triangular number. So then if this is the nth term, what would be the n plus 1th term? So the n plus n plus one -th term can be written as so instead of this n, you're going to write replace it with or replace it with n plus one. So if you did that, what you would get is n plus one. So instead of this n, you have n plus one, and instead of this n here, you again put n plus one. So if n plus one times n plus one and plus one, that remains as it is, n out of two. So that would give you n plus 1 times n plus 2 out of 2. So that's, this is the n plus 1 term, and it makes perfect sense. So then we have to prove that the sum of any two consecutive triangular numbers is a square number. So the consecutive triangular numbers would be the nth term, the n plus 1 term. You add it. So n times n plus 1 out of 2 plus n plus 1 times n plus 2 out of 2. And what we get is, if you simplify, you would get, so n plus 1 out of 2 is common in both these expressions. So when, when you do n plus 1 out of 2, and then bracket, and then n plus n plus 2. So that is equal to n plus 1 out of 2 times n plus n is 2n, so 2n plus 2. So now from this 2n plus 2, you can take 2 outside the bracket. So that means 2 outside the bracket, then n plus 1 times n plus 1 out of 2. So cancelling the 2, you will get n plus 1 whole square. So we have proved it that the sum of any two consecutive triangular numbers is a square number because n plus 1 1 n plus 1 all square is a square number. So that's it really. Thank you very much for viewing. Thank you for your time. Please subscribe and for more math problem solving videos visit my channel that I patient math 147. Thank you.